Transformers more than meets the eye. <laughs> you, you, yeah, I'm looking at you. I'm pointing at you right now. You are more than more than meets the eye. I look at my childhood and the stuff that really reset, re resented, resonated with me. And sorry if this age sound, makes me sound old. But this is a re reoccurring theme in not just my childhood memories of toys and cartoons, but anywhere, right? So you have Kikaider, Ultraman, you have the Incredible Hulk, you have Voltron, Thundercats, Transformers, GoBots, and what, what do you have? It's, it's uh, Metamorphin, Morph you know, we're Metamorphin here. Morphin, uh, Morphin Power Rangers. It's Morphin time. Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know what's out today. I don't know what the kids are uh, into right now. But it's it's just that part that caps that captures the imagination as a kid. That you are more than meets the eye. You're just a dog. You're just a person. You're just a car. But then something happens, and now you're a magical being, and you have special powers, and you have a super sword, or you know. Uh, my friends Dan and Jason have a kid's book that's just like better than all of them. It's called Barb the Berserker. And and it has a lot of, they're about my age. So when, when she gets the sword, Shadow Blade, give me the power. I mean, I've, I've gotten that for all my nieces and oh my God, they love it. So you're going to need a quiet room for this one today. And I, I'm not, I'm around people right now, so I don't even know how I'm going to explain this one to you. But, you know, I was into Transformers way later than I should have been. And I know that's a judgment, so I'll, try, I'll get rid of that. Um, I like what I like. No guilty pleasures. So the age appropriate time was the early 80s it was megatron optimus prime soundwave brawn you know bumblebee starscream but then you know a few generations later there was another jet that looked like starscream and his name was dirge and he was a decepticon i was like that's a cool name dirge and uh, i didn't know what it meant so i looked it up and dirge is like a lament a sad song this is what I remember. I'm not. I'm not looking this up right now. I swear. Um, it was like a sad song played at funerals, and in my mind at the time, uh, you know, I was listening to a lot of different kind of music. But I remember always associating um, dirge with slaves and bulldozers from Soundgarden. Dun 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 du 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 dun 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 du 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 dun and I really want to start stomping my feet right now, but I'm not going to. You just guys use your imagination. And there's this move that you do where you just it's like a a metal move. It's like not it's like for slow I've always wanted to do this, I haven't done it yet, but like to do the most slowest hardcore song ever. Uh, not like speed metal, not death metal, not fast. It's got the intensity of that. You know, we're probably not going to do it, but um, it's just like. Okay, that was a light stomp. And they call that move the rhino stomp. And you stomp your foot and you and you rock your head. It's like. I was like, maybe I'll play that song at my funeral. Or not. What is all? What is this all about? Well, this was all to tell you about uh, Dirge, Transformers. We're more than meets the eye, and I'm going to give you a tool today. Oh, I like tools. Uh, I like mixed media. What do you mean, like a Windsor Sable Newton brush number seven, or a new watercolor technique, or yeah, something like that. Well, where do I buy it? Where do I get it? Is it expensive? I'm on a budget, right? Now. It's free. You just got to use it. Use it or lose it. This one's called a soul straw. Uh, is this something you read in like a self-help new age, one, one of those books you like to read? Or 
you know, you, you, you plagiarizing your thesis. <clears throat> Can I finish talking or are you just going to be negative the whole time? Okay. Okay. Is this for, is it thick enough for boba? Can I have boba? What is boba? This is like tapioca balls. They're like dark brown. It's better if you go to a place that makes them fresh. You can, t you can taste the freshness of boba. You want boba with that? Truth is we all have boba in us. And it manifests in many different ways. These dark boba balls. What's boba? I live in the Midwest. I don't know what that is. Look it up. B-O. You mean like Boba Fett? Just look it up. Boba straw. Boba tea. You'll figure it out. I trust you. So we're all these tall cups of, uh, you know, water, whatever. Whatever kind of tea. So, um, La Croix. You know, soda, shake, whatever you are. Many, we all come in different sizes and flavors. And, um, yeah, I, actually, I'm going to stop right now. I hate the boba, the boba analogy. I'll just be literal. We all come in different shapes, sizes, colors, you know, we're a rainbow, right? We're a rainbow of different, uh, energies, spirits. Oh, I don't want to catch COVID. I don't want to catch this, f the flu. I, but we all catch something, right? We have the essence of innocence, purity, being close to the source. Um, pure, right? That, that word comes up, pure, because there's something very innocent about being a child. And then we become unpure, impure as we get older. We get darker. And then we get pain. We feel pain. That causes, you know, walls to go up, defenses, and shadows. Therapy, Dave, or art project? Can I finish? Can I finish? Uh, well, I mean, do I... I already told you, you don't need a pencil. or You don't need any of that today. You just need your body and a space away from people. Because this is, this is going to be very personal. And, and you're going to think it's silly, or you may think it's not silly... It's just, if you're open, you're open. And if you're not, you're not. That's fine. No judging. And some of us carry a lot of pain and it manifests in different parts. It Maybe it manifests in eating disorders, sexual dysfunctions, um, alcoholism, cancer, uh, you know, parts of your body that are paralyzed, uh, fear. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how it manifests physically, but it manifests in your life through addictions, mental... Uh, mental illness I don't know for everyone it's different some people it manifests by being the caretaker the yes man the the codependent the you know the peacekeeper some people they're like the out of control raging lunatic but I don't feel like that right now Dave I feel pretty calm and yet there's that shadow there's that pain that follows us that dark cloud so right now, I want you to grip your hand and take that soul straw that I was telling you about. It's a powerful straw. It's indestructible, more powerful than adamantium, than than um, uh, the that shit they make in Wakanda, uh, vibranium. This is an unbreakable straw. You can it, you can carry it with you everywhere. You just pull it out, and there it is, materialized right in your fist. And now close your eyes and just identify. You guys seen Ghostbusters? You guys, you guys know uh, Spider Man's enemy, Venom. You've seen all the movies, right? This isn't everyone. You're like, wait, why does in every movie there's like a villain or and, and, and like even though everyone's different, the Joker doesn't look like the bad guy and the anti. -vi it starts to feel the same. You're like, there's a darkness in the world. There's a darkness that shows up in TV shows and movies and books. That's somewhere in your body right now. Maybe it's in your genitals. Maybe it's in your heart. Maybe it's in your brain. Maybe it's in your eye. Maybe it's in your toe. Maybe it's in your finger. Maybe it's in your collarbone. 
Just find where that darkness is. And when you're ready, you're going to speak to it in a language that only it can understand. Not English, not your native tongue. When you find it, you speak to it. I'm trying to keep my voice down because there's people watching. <laughs> but I have no shame about this. That's why I'm speaking to you. And you speak to it. And you identify it. And you trap it. The same way the Ghostbusters corner Slimer. Or they co you corner it somewhere in your body. And then you take that straw. <laughs> and you suck it out. You suck it out and you have it in your mouth now. <clears throat> spit it out on the floor. And you fucking stomp the shit out of it. Do it now. Do it fucking now. Do it right now. Suck it out and stomp it. Stomp that. Stomp the anxiety, the depression, the loneliness, the anger, the dysfunction. Stomp it with your foot. And if you can't, if you can't use your legs, use your hand. If you can't use that, use your forehead. Just stomp the shit out of it. Get it, that black darkness evil out of you. This sounds like crazy, Dave. This sounds like exorcism. This sounds like that weird religious. Use your boba soul straw. Get that black boba pebble out of your heart and stomp the shit out of it. Kill it. And anytime you see it come back up, this ain't a one and done. This is a daily practice, weekly, yearly. Whenever you're feeling, this is what is this like dance, pantomime, per per performance art? What? What? Is, I'm gonna look crazy if my family sees me doing this. You're gonna look crazy if you don't do this. You take that soul straw, you find out where the darkness is in your body, you identify it, you suck it out, you spit it on the floor, and you stomp it out. The last breath the last light of existence out of that darkness and anytime that tar that venom that poison enters your system use your soul straw and i'm not it's fun to listen to the, do it physically do it move your body rhino stomp jump up with both feet use both feet crush every sense of life out of this darkness kill it you're a ghostbuster you're a transformer you're more than meets the eye and yet you're human so you're sensitive this is more um deadlier it's more easier to catch than covid or any other disease it's highly highly contagious it affects, it's everywhere. It's in music. It's, it's, it's so seductive. It's so baffling how it can get to you. You could think you're just having fun and yet the darkness enters. It's always looking for a way. So you need to take action and make it fun. Fun is the answer, right? So I just gave you the bare bones ritual. You can use... Look, I use a straw, you can use something else. You could get rid of the straw and go straight to the cup. Suck it out, st spit it out, stomp it. That's it. You think that's going to work? Oh, I know it works. You ever see me out on the street doing weird, weird shit like this? That's what's happening. Dose me. Let me know how it goes. I really, well, you're just not supposed to stop talking after you say dose. Okay. Uh, Shikoba, I would really like to know what this experience is like for you, for those who do it, and report back here. Dosume.